I'm burglaring a home in Naperville, Illinois, um, for the furtherance of microbiome science. The microbiome is the scientific name for all the tiny organisms that live in and on us. Every human being hosts millions of bacteria, viruses, and microscopic fungi in our guts and on our skin. There are actually more microorganisms in the average body than there are human cells. Each person's microbiome is completely unique, and we leave traces of it behind anytime we touch something, even through clothes. Which is why my brazen daytime burglary is of interest to the scientist whose house I'm burgling. Oh shit, there goes the reveal. Anyways, the whole reason I'm robbing this guy's house is so he can try to use the microbiotic traces from my hands and butt to prove that I'm the one who took the family jewels, which I will now give back. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good. Um, I have your wife's thing. Uh, that's good. I really appreciate you bringing it back. We will take that because that will have some signals on it. We're shedding microbes, 38 million microbes every hour. These are sterile cotton swabs with the ability to collect bacteria, the DNA, and all of the metabolites. And these are distinctive from person to person? Every single person has a unique microbial fingerprint. Dr. Gilbert and his assistants have been staging break-ins around the neighborhood to determine the effectiveness of microbiotic testing for crime scene forensics. At each burgled home, his team has to find trace samples of the burglar's microbiome, screen it at the lab, and then match it to the team member who done it while being careful to eliminate the microbiotic traces of the house's usual occupants. It's like dusting for fingerprints, but if your whole body was a fingertip, especially your ass. We can detect who's using the kitchen more, huh. or who's using the bathroom downstairs more often, because they leave more microbes behind in that space. Right now, we're still in the trial phase. You know, Departments of Justice are funding this research to see if it's possible. The reason for that is that we maybe have 10, 20,000 people in our database, yeah. and that's just a very small number. Right. When, when the, you know, the FBI started to bring fingerprinting into effect, they already had millions of people in their database. Mm. They could actually have statistical confidence that that signature, that fingerprint, would be incredibly unlikely to have come from anybody else but that individual. Right. We're just starting this journey. So we think that there's a lot of power in this, but we don't want to push it too fast too soon. Uh, you know, a, a wrong conviction would be devastating. Right, right. Dr. Gilbert's base of operations is Argonne National Labs, birthplace of the nuclear reactor. While the short-term goal of his research is proving the usefulness of the microbiome to police work, the wider significance of his and other scientists' work with the microbiome has applications far beyond forensics and stands to revolutionize the whole of human biology. In our previous experiment, right, we're, we're determining whether we can identify an individual based on their microbiome, and mm -hmm. it seems that we can. And that unique microbiome also affects how they uh, metabolize drugs, how they process their food, even whether they are susceptible to things like depression and anxiety, or metabolic disorders like obesity and diabetes. Everything is connected. It's, a, it's an interconnected system that is stable only because of the connections are all working together. And that's been really exciting. The discovery of the microbiome's importance to the body has led to medical breakthroughs like fecal transplants, which if you missed or were too squeamish to sit through our report on it last year, is where you take a healthy person's stool and put it inside an unhealthy person's butt. Fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT to the really polite, has a shocking 95% success rate in treating the previously incurable gut infection, Clostridium difficile, and is being tested against a wide range of other maladies. Shit's the ultimate probiotic. And that's not me using slang. I mean, human shit, like from out of our ass, is the ultimate probiotic. Concurrent with his work on microbiotic fingerprinting, Dr. Gilbert is helping to develop the next stage of fecal probiotic medicine. This time, thank God, without the feces. We know that probiotics can be useful. There are certain organisms you can buy in the stores today that could stop you from having diarrhea. That's really good, right? Yeah. A probiotic can be useful. But there's lots of probiotics out there, and they're unregulated as an industry. What we're very interested in doing is developing the next generation of probiotics, where we construct the organisms and the functions that are required to maintain health in your body. This one has about 20 different species in it, um, and it's applied to treat a very specific subset of diseases. Right? We're creating ones for IBD, so irritable bowel disorder. We're creating ones to treat Clostridium difficile infection. We're even creating ones that can help to treat depression and anxiety by having bacteria 
that produce um, these neurotransmitters which signal our gut to make our brain uh, produce the chemicals which make us happier, mm. right? But it's a biologically alive drug which is essentially natural organisms we're just infusing into your body. But you've curated it versus just like taking a big patch of forest floor and been like, hopefully there's what's in here is good for you. Right, these are, we've designed them from the ground up so we know how what each of the organisms in here does. We use our Gust Plus platform to basically identify their functions, why they're impactful, mm -hmm. what their role actually is. So I can tell you explicitly what every single organism in this pill does and why it's effective for treating the disease which you are suffering from. Yeah. And that's, that's truly game changing.